Thanks, Sharon. What's with this tall bar? I can hardly see you. You got to climb a ladder to get up on these. Climb the front like I'll a ladder. I'll fall off it. You'll be right. <laughs> What is this all about? It's great, isn't What's it? What's with the yeah. high bar? Well, there's a few stories, as usual. Yeah. One is that at the time the bar was built, they were doing the railway, and the railway workers were quite rough. And the bar used to have a top on it where the glass is hung. Yeah. So they built the bar up so that anyone rough from the railway couldn't jump over this side of the bar. And there is one more story that most of the locals believe. Another one. I think I've been set up here. What is no, this? No, it happens all the time. <laughs> this is nuts. Karen. <laughs> <laughs> you are rough. <laughs> so this is why the bar is so high or not? Yeah. Do we believe this? Yeah, we do. <laughs> My grandfather was a stockman around here. He lived here all his life. And he, I story he told me that he was thirsty one day and he was on his horse moving stock and he decided he would ride his horse into the pub. Yeah, had the rest. Because, you know, for travelling stockmen and stuff like that, quick and easy, yeah. oh, well, lunchtime, smuggler time, slip in, have a, have quick, a quick beer and beer. keep going. Back in the 70s, the BBC made a film on this part of Australia and it was Lance's grandfather, Roy Little, whose antics here no doubt reinforced the legend of the Aussie outback for British audiences. He must have been thirsty. It was pretty dry back then, so I dare say he was pretty thirsty. <laughs> this is the best part. You can sneak in, have a beer, turn around and go back out. <laughs> so he was also proving why the bar is so high? I think so. It's, oh, look at that, perfect height. <laughs> 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 I can't believe this. Of course, it's got more manners than some of my other customers. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. See ya. <laughs>